Hey, I'm Tom Rohde, uh, Sales and Marketing Manager here at Carly Cycles. Uh, welcome to Beverly, Massachusetts. This is our headquarters. Uh, come on in and I will give you a tour of uh, our production process. So the process for a custom bike typically starts with fit data from one of our dealers. Uh, in, ca in this case, it's uh, from uh, Bespoke Cycling in the UK. And they've sent us a uh, fit sheet from a Ritual uh, fitting session they did with a client. So this has all the parameters of how this client sets up uh, on a bike. Um, and then what we'll do is we will take that data and put it into our CAD system. So this is a custom geometry exactly tailored to the millimeter to fit the athlete. And then it's also ride tuned for exactly the type of riding uh, that this guy likes to do. Okay, so we're uh, basically uh, at the beginning of where uh, the tubes become a bike. So the tubes have all been uh, mitered and prepped. So the tubes are all basically uh, ready to go together uh, into uh, the actual uh, design of the bike. So this is um, what is essentially going to become the outer skin of the seat lug. You can almost see that seat lug um, shape there. So, you know, he still has about a day's worth of work laid out in front of him, but these are all the pieces to build a part of the one track bike laid out right in front of us right here. Okay, so this is our custom jig, basically set up, ready to take all the tubes we just looked at. Um, it's set very precisely for angles and lengths, um, and it's very rigid with no flex, so we get a very, very precise construction. So there's an overlap, you know, or, you know, in metal terms, a butted section right. of material that bridges this tube to the next tube. So right at the root of the joint, it's actual carbon fiber, right. the same material that the tubes are made out of. There's no uh, paste epoxy or um, uh, you know, basically uh, filler material used. You're bridging carbon to carbon when you create the joint. So you have a little bit of overlap for each of the tubes and then you build the lug up over the top of it. We're uh, back with Rommel and he's actually begun the layup process of building this Z1. So he's forming the joints with pre-preg unidirectional carbon. So what he's doing right now is building up the radii, um, so giving the, the whole joint a good form when it's, when, it's, when it's cured. So this is the better part of the day to actually do this. And this is what allows us to change the angles of the bike. We're not limited to preformed lugs. We can change the geometry. So what I'm trying to show here is uh, the ability to design your own paint job. This is on our website. It also works on iPhones and iPads. But basically, you can pick your own paint job. Um, there's over 40 colors and over a million different color permutations. Uh, here we are at the paint booth and Bill's custom painting a C1 right now. You can actually see him spray painting. Uh, he's uh, put some clear coat on the, uh, the back part of the C1. So this is the final QC step. Uh, basically, uh, the finisher will make sure that the uh, paint, paint job matches the actual bike, and then uh, he will uh, wet sand and buff and just get a, a mirror-like finish on it. And then uh, it's bubble wrap and uh, off to your dealer.